Welcome to our video tutorial series on the MS2760A Ultra Portable Spectrum Analyzer. In this segment, we want to focus in on the frequency span, the amplitude, and the bandwidth commands. For this demonstration, I want to focus in on the FM radio band. So here on the right hand side where the menu buttons are, I want to click the frequency menu and uh, span button and want to change my span to 20 megahertz. Now I could have used my finger on a touch screen or stylus or using the mouse as I'm doing here or my numeric keypad on my laptop. Also I could use the up down arrow keys which changes it in a 125 fashion. Center frequency the same thing I could click on here and it up down arrow key would be based on the frequency step value that is placed here. But I also want to show you that I can change the center frequency down here as well. I want to change it to 98 megahertz. Moving on to the amplitude menu. I want to get a lower noise floor. In order to do that I have a half a reference level below minus 10 dBm. I'm going to use minus 20 dBm for this level. Now I'm able to turn on the IF gain and turning that on lowers the noise floor about 20 dB. It's, this is, works like a preamp but this gain is in the IF chain of our, of our receiver instead of at the beginning of the RF chain. I can also accommodate for a reference level offset and that can be for external gain or external attenuation before we get in, into the uh, RF test port of the instrument and now once I've entered a value you can see that it shows here in the upper left hand corner the offset reference level and in the menu so you know you're working with the offset reference level and it can be a minus value as well for whether you have gain or attenuation. Back to zero and of course you can change the scale per division. Auto reference level I'll attempt to place this the, uh, the top of the signal within one or two graticules of the top of the grid if you want to use the auto reference level. Moving on to the bandwidth, resolution bandwidth, I can change that with the up down arrow keys in a 1, 2, 3 fashion, or 1, 3, 10 fashion. And once I've gone into manual, uh, manual mode, it shows me a hashtag in front of the value that says I'm now in, I'm not in auto mode anymore, uh, and I'm in manual mode. It's controlled by the span resolution bandwidth value here. You can type in any value you want if you have a particular resolution bandwidth that you prefer to work with. So it's a, you have the ability to set arbitrary va values. Same thing with the video bandwidth. You can set that to whatever you want. I'm going to go back to auto for right now, but I'm going to smooth out the trace a little bit and uh, do a 10 to 1 ratio between the RBW and the video bandwidth. And now you can see a nice FM radio signal. That wraps up this segment of our video series on the MS2760A Ultra Portable Spectrum Analyzer for frequency span, amplitude, and bandwidth. Thanks again for your time, attention, and interest.